Hello and welcome back. Uh, today we're going to be playing some games from the Pi Game Community Easter Jam, which ran last week that I participated in. And um, yeah, this was a jam where you had to use Pi Game to make your game, and the theme was high tech. And yeah, let's dive right into it. Um, there's about 20 submissions. I'm probably not going to play all of them but I will play as many as I feel like. <laughs> Starting with a uh, Centipede Hunter. Yeah, I'm just gonna go in random order, whatever, uh, whatever order they're in. So, let's take a look at the game page. Yeah, so Centipede Hunter, you play as an astronaut whose job it is to hunt the centipede which is roaming around the void. Aim for the head, for you might not like it if you destroy its body. My second entry for my second game jam. Action based game inspired by Centipede. Hope you like it. Okie dokie. I already downloaded this one, so. Should be able to just play it. to make it fit okay I think we're good actually I should probably capture the uh, the window right oh and enable that turn that off okay beautiful audio is coming through let's play centipede hunter who's this by this is by Glaziaro. I don't recognize that name, so I'm not sure if I know this person. How to play, Wazda, nice. Space, pick up weapon or float. Left mouse button, shoot. Kill the centipede to win, lose all health to lose. Lose all health to lose. <laughs> you can fly with your jetpack as long as you have enough fuel. If you run out of fuel, you cannot fly anymore. Okay, so you move, you hover, and you shoot, okay. Okay. Do I have fuel? Yeah, top. Top right, I have fuel. And. Whoa. It's a big centipede. <laughs> okay, the player has a lot of gravity. How do I get more fuel? Oh, there we go. So I'm out of fuel now, and I picked up more. Okay. Whoa, whoa. Okay, Centipede just whacked me. I assume this health bar at the top left ugh, is mine. Okay. Yeah, I can't shoot very fast. Oh, and there's a mini-map, so I can actually see where the platforms and the centipede are. So, he's coming at me. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> when he hits you, you get a lot of momentum. There's a purple dot up here. Oh, I have no fuel! Oh no. Okay, I'm in trouble now. If I go down... to this purple dot, that might... Oh, it's a gun. Okay. I'm shooting in the direction of the centipede, but it's not making the hit noise, so I assume... I'm not hitting it. Yeah, the bullets are probably not just traveling forever. Yeah, so I actually didn't really need to use my jetpack much before. So now there's a white dot on that platform. 
but I can't actually get to that platform. I need to go down to this one. And then I can maybe make it to that. Oh, I fell. All right, all right. <laughs> Take two. Take two. We can do this. Now that I understand the map, there's a gun down here. Whoop. I pick up the gun. Okay, pick up the gun. I think that these ones are making the hit noise. Ah! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I clicked off the window, so uh, it got hidden. Oh no. Oh my god, I'm in the centipede. Okay, I keep clicking out of the window. <laughs> which you guys can't see, but uh... Oh. Yeah, the centipede seems to have a lot of health. Oh! I destroyed it! And now, there are two centipedes. Now there are three. Okay. So... <laughs> Maybe destroying the centipede is something I should be careful about. Okay, but I can off-screen him to some degree at least. Yep. Yep. I'm just using the minimap to uh to aim. Oh <laughs> okay. Got him, and I get more fuel. Oh, I was misreading my position on the map. Very nice, get more health, very nice. Should be one more, got him, nice. <laughs> Press this button to return to menu, oh, this button. Very cool. Yeah, this is actually really neat. The uh, the centipede enemy is is very interesting. The way it splits apart when you hit it and it like keeps going. And I liked the uh, the generated map and the fact that the centipede creates more tiles for you to jump on when it dies. Yeah, all in all, this is really cool. This could be like a a cool boss fight in in a part of a larger game. Um, yeah, this has been Centipede Hunter by, by Glaziaro. Very cool. All right, got to keep moving. Got to go fast. All right, next will be Defective Artificial Intelligence by Grimes who I do know from the Discord. Okay, let's download this. Check out the game page while that's going. Oh, we are on the game page. Awkward. All right. Uh, come on into here. I could read the README, but I think I'm just going to go into it. Yeah, let's capture this. Get out of here. Yeah, if I was thinking, I would have set all this up beforehand, but... We can do that on the fly. Turn that off, turn that on. Okay, good. Okay, defective artificial intelligence, help. April 2035, the biggest international research center in artificial intelligence succeeded in the creation of an intelligence able to generate artificial cells following the same model 
but there are rumors about a hacker gang that is trying to inject a malicious artificial cell among the originals. You have been pre-selected to take a few tests that will evaluate your skills at spotting intruders in simulated situations. Will you be observant enough to find the intruder? Yes, I will. Okay. All of them are different. This one is the most? Which one is the intruder? This one? This one. And... What? <laughs> I feel like they are all slightly different. You're telling me there's one that is more different? Like, they all have... They all have, like, a random assortment of black pixels, right? They're not, like, the same. So it's just the color and the shape. This one is quite stretched, but so is this one. Okay. And now these ones are all stretched. This one is really st stretched, but it's moving. This one, okay. And now they all have different colors. This one is the most stretched. This one, okay. <laughs> And then, this one, yeah, this is the only circle, okay. And then, there's like two different styles here. This one's very orange. But it matches the shape of like these ones. This one matches the shape of this one. This one matches the shape of this one. Huh. Is the color relevant? If the color is relevant, then this one. Yeah, okay. So color is not relevant, it's just the shape. This one? This one is small. Is the size relevant? <laughs> Maybe I'm not cut out for this for this hacker team, or maybe I, the, the hacker team is too smart for me. Rather, oh. okay, two more tries. This one is very stretched. Uh, this one, this, this one. This one's jumping around a lot. Oh. Wait, I didn't want to click there. <laughs> yeah, I'm losing it. Um, so... Like, they all have slightly different shapes. So I guess you just have to find the most extreme shape. I like the song. What? <laughs> I guess this one matches this one? So then is it... It's this one. Should be that one. So this one. Okay. 
This one's the most circular, but there's also other circular ones. So it's gotta be this one. No. How is it not this one? I am puzzled. So is the outlier one that is in between this one and this one? Because, like, all of them are in between these two. This one I've already clicked, I think. Hard game. <laughs> um, it's that one. It is in between the two. Okay. <laughs> What is this? They're teleporting like constantly. Okay, this one is not the right one. Uh, is there only one horizontally stretched one? I think there might be, but it's it's really hard to tell because it's jumping like so fast. Uh no. Are the colors changing when it teleports? Maybe there's only one circle one, no. Okay, yeah, I think I am just unable to crack this hacker code here. <laughs> uh, these all... I mean, they're all different, and I think I've clicked on the extreme ones. And they're, like, teleporting super fast, so... Yeah. Alright, well... This game's pretty tough. <laughs> this has been Defective Artificial Intelligence by, uh, by Grimes. I think it's a cool idea. I think the... I, I like the, like, random generation. But I, I don't understand the, the difference that I'm supposed to be looking for. Maybe I'm just missing the, the point. Maybe it's both, like maybe it's both color and something to do with the, uh, the pixel geometry and the shape. Like maybe it's all three attributes and I kind of have to be looking at all of those when I'm finding the outlier. But instead I was only looking at the stretch. So yeah, I might just be missing the point. But cool idea, cool song, nice uh, nice presentation as well. I like the menus and stuff. Timer. All right, let's move on. Display capture. All right, Escapade by Anime Fan Bihargov. <laughs> Not sure how to parse this username. Okay. The robots in your spaceship have conspired against humanity. They are shooting laser beams randomly to end you. You are equipped with a jetpack and invisibility goggles. Another jetpack game. Interesting. Escape from the spaceship to save your life. Refer to README for tutorial and credit. Best of all, may your escapade be successful. 
All right, very cool. Yeah, this actually looks very similar. Well, I guess every jetpack game has like fuel in the jetpack. I guess one thing I'd like to know is, did people make their songs? Like everybody just made these songs in the time period? How's, how's that possible? <laughs> Okay, well, this one sounds like generated music, so that explains that. Um, um escapade. No, not that. Um, It's not explorer.exe, it's... Where is it? <laughs> That's not it. Uh... Oh, game.exe, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, escapade. Press A key to continue. So, where's it to move? Space to jetpack. And there are lasers. Am I supposed to go down or up? Down, I guess. Two plus two. Four. Okay. Battery? Coin? What do the batteries do? Probably give me jetpack? Yeah, okay. Whoa. Go in here. 5 minus 12 over 6. 5 minus 2. 3. I assume we're using uh, PEMDAS. Oh no. Oh no. Bruh. <laughs> Alright, let's try this again. I like the uh, the math problems. Oh, don't fall all the way down. I'm out of jetpack fuel. Alright, alright. We can do better. I like the uh, like generated um, like menu graphics with like all the the colorful shapes. Four. All right. Seems like the math problems are just hard coded, so I can just remember the answer. Whoop. Okay. Full of holes, but still holds water. Sponge? Okay. <laughs> if I get a question wrong... What gets wet while drying? Towel. Okay. I like the math problems better than the riddles. I think I can answer pretty much any math problem that it throws at me, but... Number of squares in a chessboard is 64. It's 64. It's 64. <laughs> it's eight by eight. H, H column, right? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. What? It's 64. What do, you, what do you think it is? Uh. Okay. 
What what could it be? Oh, you can click these as well. Very cool. But uh It's definitely 64. <laughs> 64 space. Hmm, 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 hmm. All right, we're gonna do some digging, I guess. Text. I'm not going to look at anything. 204? 204, that's what you're saying. You're saying... You're saying that this has 204? <laughs> it's, clearly, it's, it's clearly 64, but uh, okay, we'll, we'll continue. 204. Great. <laughs> That was not fair. But we can beat this game. We can beat this game. Now that we know the answer. I'm not sure what kind of chessboard this person plays on, but uh <laughs> not a standard one. Oh okay. brutal. It's kind of just RNG whether you get hit by them, I, I feel like. At least in the later levels. Oh! And I'm not sure if the coins do anything. Whoa. Alright, that one was my bad. I fell off. <laughs> we can beat this. Oh my god. Or, I do like the uh, the terminal like graphics there. The nice interactive keyboard and the things get darker when you hover over them. Very nice. It's pretty impressive to make that in Pi game as a part of a one week jam. That's for sure. Little holes. And like listening to keyboard input. Like to let you type in like characters and getting all those. Very cool. Like 204 isn't even a square number, right? So. Just be screwed now. Yeah, I need to go up on this level. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, you get like barely any lift from the jetpack, so you. Ooh, okay, that was. That one was inexcusable. So, yeah, you kind of just have to fall onto like your destination. Coins. I missed the coin. I do like how it lets you like guess multiple times. It doesn't just like kill you when you get it wrong. I definitely would have blown like 10 or 15 lives on that chessboard problem. <laughs> Okay. 
See, now that... <laughs> God! <laughs> like, I'm going for liftoff, right? I have like a limited amount of battery. And then I just get swarmed by the lasers. So I have to drop. And then I waste my thrust. And then the next time I try to thrust, I just get blasted by the lasers again. <laughs> How, how is that fair? <laughs> I didn't do anything wrong. Oh. This song sounds... maybe human-made. I think the other one is generated, though, which is definitely a good idea for, for jams. It's just, like, hard to find, like, music generators that make good results that are like long enough to use. Like Wolfram Alpha has that music generation thing, which generates pretty good results, but like it's only 30 seconds. So you either have to loop like a 30 second loop that doesn't actually loop cleanly or just like not use it. I don't know, maybe there's other alternatives that I'm not aware of. Okay. Okay. Has many keys but can't open a single lock. A monkey. A, a key ring. Um. Has many keys. The Florida Keys? No. What has many keys? It's gotta be like a pun or something, something involving the word key. Piano. Popular ice cream flavor. Okay. Oh, there's two doors. Wanna be green? Yes. <laughs> Brilliant. What? Okay. The lasers are a bit oppressive <laughs> at the end, but this is very cool. I like the use of um, like generated graphics and music and stuff like that. Uh, it just creates like a pretty interesting effect, especially here on this menu. But uh, yeah, this has been Escapade by Anime fan, Bihargov. <laughs> Failed to execute script game. It seemed to execute okay. All right, what's next? This is my game, so we're not going to play it. Automata defense. I guess everybody else like managed to get sound like working in time. I just ran out of time. I was planning on like taking a day off to work on the sound and music, but I just like had too much work to do that day, so I couldn't. Excuses, excuses. Okay, we're just downloading the raw exe. Should be fine. Let's run it. <laughs> yeah, 
Windows loves it when you just download an EXE off the internet and launch it. Is it going to ask for administrator privileges? Oh, there's no reason. There's no reason for games to require administrative. Like, just use Pi Installer, right? Like, just use Pi Installer. Generate an EXE that doesn't require administrative privileges to run. And then people won't have to, like, I don't know. I guess running like an EXE in your computer, even without administrator privileges, requires a lot of trust. But I'm just going to run it from source. This actually might require like an equivalent amount of trust, but we'll see. <laughs> Ugh. All right, fuck it. This one actually... Oh, it runs here without complaining. Interesting. Okay, I'm missing the story, but... This message will terminate itself in three, two, one. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> All right, uh, let me restart. Okay, start as a bet between friends, but now he must hack the world safest computer. Your mission is hack the computer for him. In three, two, one. How to play. Move with Wazda or the arrows. Beautiful. Press E to hack the antivirus. <laughs> is that what the game was trying to do to my computer earlier? Press E to hack. Find the component you want to hack to. Hack the system code. You have 15 seconds to get 20 documents file. <laughs> uh, the code, the number of missions you finish, the number of missions that there are, the long of the game jam, the length of the theme, the number of missions you finished, Zero. The number of missions that there are, there's only one mission to hack the computer. The long of the game jam. Seven days? The length of the theme? What, in terms of text? H, I, G, H. I assume we're not counting spaces. Tech, so eight. The number that is hidden in the map? <laughs> okay, how am I supposed to know that? Three? Wrong. Oh my god. How am I supposed to know this? Alright, I'm gonna hack the game itself by starting over. <laughs> I guess we need to find the, uh the number in the map or else if we lose we will uh, be stuck in that code entry screen this message will terminate itself in three two one I guess it might like probably gives you a limited number of, of attempts choose the government documents get this file okay lines Lines, 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 lines. Okay, we did it. 
Hack the system code. Oh no. Can I? Oh, I can escape out of that. Oh, there's the three. Hey, it is three. Hey. <laughs> That's literally what I guessed. Hack the firewall. You have eight seconds to block ten breaches. Press any key to start. Click these. Yeah, look at my precision clicking. Hack the antivirus. Avoid the antivirus for 20 seconds. Bruh. Okay, that wasn't fair. <laughs> okay, there's Windows Defense. Try this again. They literally like... Okay. I didn't even get touched! <laughs> they move faster than me and they just mimic my movement. What? Like... go to the corner. Just want to go down, then up. Oh, I can actually move quite quickly diagonally. Fuck. Diagonal. Okay. The diamond strategy. Okay, should be good. Nice. Okay. So there's a three. That's the one that I struggled with before. Okay, number of missions you finished. Oh no. <laughs> okay, what did I do? There's the one where you click the splotches on the screen, the ones where the shields chase you, the one where you click the documents, and was there another one? Click documents, shields chase you, splotches on the screen. I think it was just three. Number of missions that there are. Four, including this one. Okay, hold on. So three. Four. The length of the game jam. Seven. Length of the theme. Eight. Number that is hidden. Oh, we did it. Nice. Very nice. Wait, did it tell me to type something? <sighs> right, execute finish dot mission. Okay. I need the semicolon. Finish hack. You hack the computer. Hack again? No. That was cool though. Yeah. It's it's cool to see games that like bake in several mini games into their uh, into their gameplay. And the music was good. I don't understand how people make music and make a game in a week, though. That's what I want to know. I guess if you have... Oh, okay, yeah, I guess if you just have multiple people, then... Uh, 
And then one person just has to make a song in a week, and the other person makes the game in a week. Okay. Is this game actually finished? It's called Uh. This in plan had to be an infinite platform, but this project is built on bugs. Hmm. Yeah, it sounds like this one probably isn't very complete, so I'm not going to play it. Let's try this one. Anonymous Time by Robo Marcello. Use hack systems and high technologies to get some bitcoins. <laughs> Let's give it a try. Okay. Is it like a readme or anything? Probably not. Okay, so we're we're playing as uh, the anonymous hacker. Press E to hack systems. What do we got there? Something Python uh, three nine zero. Whoa. Okay. Very cool. We are hacking. Do I collide with the arrow? I'm not going to risk it. Very nice. We hacked the system. Press E to get the Bitcoin. Nice. Press space to stop green letter C. Oh, we, we want to make hack. I press space. OK. Got it. Hacked. <laughs> Collisions are good too. I like the uh, I like the graphics. I like it how it changes when you um, go in a different direction. Okay, there's definitely some hacking going on down here, but we don't have to worry about that. I think the number at the top left is the frame rate. Oh crap. I've not been recording this properly. Uh, let me just fix that real quick. Anonymous time. OK. Keypad cracker. <laughs> Enter 527. Oh, I have to do it with the mouse. 5278199. OK, got it. Very cool. Fingerprint checker. Oh no. Got to use my pattern recognition skills again. Okay, that was way easier than the cell game. <laughs> Two hacks. Okay. <laughs> Very nice. Anonymous, you have been hacked. Oh, there's like a pop-up. Hold on. There's like a, a pop-up that says I've been hacked. Very cool. And there is like a end screen. End screen. Special thanks for playing. Pygame, the Python graphics library, SFXR sound generator. Very cool. Yeah, I like this. This has been Anonymous Time by something Marcello, Robo Marcello. All right, what's next? I'm feeling good. We can keep going. Obstruction, puzzle game. A simple puzzle game about guiding a laser between obstructions. 
if I'm not mistaken, this guy, TXR, won the last jam, so the last Pi Game Community jam, so this should be good. You have to guide a red laser through the level using mirrors, which you can push around. You can walk with Wazda and do screenshots with H. Beware of glitches. <laughs> there are a lot of them that I don't understand. <laughs> anyway, good luck and have fun. Even though the glitches, every level is possible. Some might just be a little hard. All right, I'm up for the challenge. Not afraid of glitches. EXE. Uh, what's it called? Main. Beautiful. One second. What's this called? Obstruction or main. Okay, here we go. Okay, three buttons. Wow, they added a uh, a volume menu and an exit button. All right, let's get started. So I move around with WASDA. I'm pressing WESDA, <laughs> but it's not moving. Oh. I have to hit play. OK, so I can't push the laser. I can only push the reflectors. I see. So there's a play button, yeah, which is a little confusing. So I basically just need this to go here and this one to go here. Very nice. And so for this one, I need a laser. You guys can see my mouse, right? Oh, you can't. Interesting. All right, well, I'll just play. <laughs> oh, you can now. Oh, the mouse wasn't in the screen. All right, I'm stupid. All right, anyways, I need to get a laser down here, or a mirror down here, and then here, and then here. So oh, I can't push all three. OK, so this one needs to go here. And this one needs to go here. And this one needs to go down here. Very nice. OK. OK, a lot of stuff going on here. Basically, I need to unobstruct the lasers. And I need to push like one of these two over to here. So, yeah, you can't push two at a time. I think I probably just want to get this out of the way. And then. How do I get down to that like bottom? I want to get like down here so that I can push stuff up, but to do that, I need to do something like.
like this. Yeah, okay, and then I can push this over here and just trash it. And I can push this here, push this up. Okie dokie. No! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Come on, reflect down! What's wrong? Um... Is there like a limit to the number of times it can reflect? That might be it, actually. Okay. That seems to be seems to be the issue. It's probably not intended. I don't see why in a laser game you would like limit the number of times a laser can reflect. Okay, for this one I just need to send it to the left, send it up, and then send it over. So I need like something like that there. Oops. Okay, so this like... Can I restart? Okay, yeah. So, yeah, once you make like a, a group of four that are all touching each other, you're kind of screwed. So this I can just kind of get out of the way. This I can send over. This needs to go. This I don't actually need this up here, but just for safekeeping. Yeah, in these types of games, once you push a block against a wall, it's kind of stuck against that wall forever. So that's like the one sort of thing you gotta be cautious about. Okay, um, so I think I need to basically clear stuff out of the way on the right. Is this Among Us? <laughs> it's the Among Us guy. Um, anyways, yeah, so I can push that up there without actually losing anything. I can push those over there and those are still fully mobile. Um, this I can just push up, I think. This I can trash. And then this I can push out of the way. Nice. Okay, over here. So the goal is under. So maybe I want to push it right down left up, or I could do the same thing on the other side. But, oops. So I do need this here if I'm gonna go with that route. And I need, I don't really, yeah, I need something like this one. To do that, and then this one will go here, and then this one will go over here. Very nice. Okay. So we want to set this to the left. So we need like this one to be over here. So that needs to be there. These I can just push out of the way. Oops. Yeah, I think I just screwed myself. 
Okay, try this again. Um, yeah, this goes over here. And then I need this one. Okay. I need this to be out of the way. I can just trash this one. This comes up. Okay, just almost screwed myself. Trash both of those. And then I assume I can make it work up top because I have a lot of flexibility here. So that can go there. Trash that. And that goes there. Nice. Okay. So. Yeah, we could probably solve this level in reverse. So I need to like send a laser down here, reflect it to the right. I can't use this one. Unless I push it up and back down, but that's probably overkill. I can just trash this. And yeah, I need to be careful about what I do on the bottom here. Trash those. Get those out of the way and put that there. Nice. And then this one I can trash. This one I can trash. Like so. Okay, so I definitely need this one. And I need this one. Ooh, I need to be careful though. So this can just go anywhere really. This has to come here. And then that should work. Yeah, nice. Alright, what else? So laser goes up and I just need to get it down to here. How hard could this be? Yeah, I just to like get stuff out of the way, kind of. So this is irrelevant. This I will definitely need. Something like this over here. Yeah. Nice. Thanks for playing, Heart. Hope you had fun. I did have fun. Yeah, I I definitely enjoy like block pushing puzzle games and I enjoy like laser reflecting games, so it's a, it's a cool way to combine those two things into one game. Yeah, this was fun. This was well put together. This has been Obstruction by TZR or TXR. All right, maybe maybe one or two more. I do want to play Flyer, but I gotta go. I gotta go in the random order. <laughs> okay, save the crew. Bye. Tonic, no. Save the crew by GVX23. Save the crew. In this game, you're an astronaut trying to get oxygen for you and your crew. You have to click and jump. Simple. Okay. This looks fun. What are these links? Oh, are these links to the art? Okay, I think it's like open source art. Let's give it a try. Uh, 
It's a big game. Or maybe just a slow download. Is this a big game? Yeah, this is a pretty big game. <laughs> well, I guess it's not any bigger than the others. Okay, never mind. Let's just slow the download. Oh wait, I still have the other game running. Okay. Don't want to have uh, two songs playing at the same time. Start. All right, start. Hi, I'm the captain of your space mission. Complications on board. <laughs> Turns out it's possible to extract oxygen from minerals. Interesting. If you think you can't move anywhere, hurry. Use the space button on your suit to teleport you to another asteroid. Sounds simple enough. Don't run out of oxygen. Your stats are on the top of the screen. If you find oxygen and your tank is full, it will be sent to the crew if you find oxygen. Okay. G. <laughs> G. Whoa. Okay. Okay. I like the screen scrolling. Whoa. Okay. So it's kind of like, uh, what's that game called? These like, um, these like precision jump platformer game. Jump King. Yeah, it reminds me of Jump King. Okay, can I launch all the way up here? That's the question. Yes, very nice. O2. Nope. Oh, okay, I don't die though. Well, okay, I should just go the easy way. Whoa. Careful. I made it. Okay, I got oxygen. Oh, is my oxygen like depleting? How do I get up? Space? Oh, I go back down to the bottom? <laughs> what happens when my oxygen runs out? I think I just lose, right? Okay, try again. Gotta go fast. Gotta be precise. I think that the levels are generated. So there's probably no guarantee that these jumps will be like reasonable. Whoa. Yeah, this level is definitely different. Okay. 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 Yeah, like this. <laughs> like, oh, fuck. Can I? All right, well, that was bad. That was definitely bad. Whoops. Yeah, designing games like this, where it's like an auto-generated platformer, is pretty hard because the the generation will tend to create like impossible jumps. You kind of need to like either design it in such a way where there like are no impossible jumps, like 
Like in Doodle Jump, for example, you can jump through the bottoms of platforms, so there's really no risk of you being blocked. But yeah, if if the if the platforms are like solid from below, then yeah, this is tricky. All right, one more try. I think I got 2.2k. Yeah, see now this <laughs> is not uh, not fair. I might. like technically be able to make this. Do have some leeway on like where I can stand. Yeah, I am blocked like just as much from below though. Yeah, this game ironically would be a lot easier if the platforms were smaller. Or at least it would be more possible. Actually, can you wrap around the edges? Maybe that's the real solution here. <laughs> can I get up? Oh my god. Okay, we're going to go this way. Yeah, you can't wrap around the edges, so... And I can't make that jump. Very cool. All right, well, this has been Save the Crew by GVC23. Definitely a cool idea. And I like the art and everything, and I like the, the story. The, uh, the level generation is just a little bit, a little bit tough. <laughs> but um, yeah, very cool. All right, one more game that uh, everyone's been talking about, Flyer by Cozy Fractal. Yeah, this is probably the most like well-polished game in the jam from what I've seen. And it looks pretty fun, so let's check out the page if we can. Oh my god, there's a video, there's a trailer. <laughs> Flyer is a 2D pixel art shoot 'em up where you improve through a skill tree. It was made in under one week with the Pi Game Community Easter Jam. The development will continue, however, at a slower pace. Any feedback in the comments would be very appreciated, especially criticism about what could be improved. Feel free to post your high scores in the comments. Use the best of all of us. Credits. Yada, yada, yada. Yeah, this game uses a lot of generated graphics, I think. I know the planets are generated. Um, not sure about the ships. These might have just been drawn. Anyways, let's get right into it. Flyer. Okay. Play, high scores, quit. Let's play. Oh my god, the polish. Level one. Okay, space to shoot. Yeah, it's a very uh a very juicy game. Everything that happens has like an animation and a sound. Which is very impressive for a one week game. Enemy ships are uh, on fire. Yeah, wow. There's Saturn. Choose your next skill. Okay, I think I can only select bullets. Bullets up. Shoot one more bullet. Very nice. Level two. Oh, fuck. I'm not sure if touching the ships hurts you. Hmm. 
Maybe I should test that actually. Okay, next skill we have attack up, 20% damage to enemies. Plus 20% of life. Plus 2% probability of burning the target. Hmm. I can't actually see the other upgrades, I don't think, so... Alright, let's get attack. I'm not sure how you heal, though. Okay, I haven't seen any health packs or anything. is really, really well polished. Kind of move out of the way. I'll lead my shots. So those guys shoot bombs. That's definitely a, definitely a bullet hell game. <laughs> oh fuck. Yeah, the bombs are hard to avoid because, uh, you know, you're not looking down there. Whoa. Do the bombs hurt you while they're moving? Yeah, I'm, like, pretty screwed here if my health doesn't recharge. I don't think it does. Plus 20% life. Like, that gave me some life. Okay, what do these guys do? These guys don't actually seem to shoot anything. Oh, maybe they have like a, a circular like explosion effect. Oh, I see. They, like, launch at you. Fuck. Cool ghast. Oh, this is, like, a real high scoreboard. All right, we're going to play this again. <laughs> I think we can get a pretty good score. Wow. Just soaking up these bullets, though. Yeah, maybe instead of trying so hard to hit enemies, I should just focus on dodging. So I definitely like just sat on a bunch of bombs. Oh fuck. Level cleared. Bullet up. It'd be nice if my bullets were a different color from the enemy bullets. Because it makes, it makes the enemy bullets tough to see when they're, like, in my bullet trail. Whoa. Okay. No excuse for that one, though. <laughs> that one's a different color. Okay. I think we need, we need some kind of health. Because otherwise I will just gradually die. I need to avoid the bombs. So those, the like basic enemy ships just shoot like a burst of three. Wow, I sat on another bomb. So after they burst three, I don't actually have to be worried. Motherfucker. All right, try this again. It did worse that time. Yeah, okay, so there, there's like, there's like lighting them on fire, and then there's also like crits, I think. Maybe damage, maybe damage is the way to go. But there's like no healing. percent probability of burning the target. Do 
Yeah, let's try to let's try to get some health and then go for damage. I just really need to watch these bombs. That's the main thing. Yeah, anytime there's a bomb ship on this screen, I really need to just focus it down. Yeah. And anytime there's a bomb down there, I need to not sit on it. Okay, he's dead. There's a bomb. More bombs. More bombs. No bomb. Okay, there's a bomb on the right. Being targeted. One right there. Okay, that was actually pretty clean. Okay, what do we got? Regeneration. 1% of life every second. Half damage from contact. I'm not sure what a contact is. Maybe that's when ships collide with me. I think there's really only the one ship that collides with me, though. Right, let's grab this. And then we'll go for damage. Yeah, these guys don't actually uh, shoot, I don't think, so... As long as I'm putting, like bullets on them. They can't actually hurt me, I don't think. Not sure if they are gonna like come back up from the bottom or if they just die after diving at me. Oh shit. Alright, that was also pretty clean. And I'm at like full health. Okay. So you've got the fire thing, and just 20% damage. Oh, I think I, can I keep taking the same one? Oh, you can. Okay, yeah, shooting another, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, this guy. Uh, okay, that guy was shooting a lot of bullets just there. Think of how I can beat that guy. Because like me taking an extra bullet seems very good. Like that's that's better than 20% increased damage. That's like 50% increased damage taking a third bullet. These guys aren't that scary, because like I'm always moving anyways. Okay. Yeah, let's go for the health strategy again. Let's just try to aim better. I'm not get hit by bombs, whoa. I like every single bullet on the screen, though. Whoa. Yeah, 
the zone now. So is regen actually that good? I mean, given that there's no other healing, I don't see how how I could not take it. <laughs> like, it doesn't heal me that much, but... Yeah, normally in games like this, enemies will, like, drop health packs or something. Or you'll, like, heal back to full after each level, but... Yeah, given that regeneration is the only source of healing... Like kind of a kind of a must take. All these aiming guys. Okay, now for the three shot guys. What do I want to do about that? Half damage from contacts. I don't know what that means, but. Maybe fire is like better than I think it is. Whoa, okay, he shoots two now. And he shoots when I shoot. Oh. I see, okay. Is he gonna charge me? I see. Okay. Kind of need to. I can actually just wait and like heal, right? It's like no rush to finish the level if I'm healing. Yeah. I might be losing score because of this, but it's better than dying. <laughs> okay. So with this newfound knowledge, I think taking the fire was a mistake. Plus one to fire damage multiplier. Playing Path of Exile now. Fire lasts five seconds. Okay. Um, yeah, let's just take bullets. I'm not sure if each individual bullet has like an individual chance of inflicting fire. But if it does, then I think bullets up is just clearly like... These guys get lower and lower, which, um... Fuck! <laughs> oh, man. Getting close. Getting close. Alright, let's try this without taking fire. This will probably be my last run. Yeah, the upgrades are like really impactful though, which is cool. Like, I feel like it really makes a difference what you pick. And like, I don't know, er everything Everything in this game is like really well polished and really put together, so really well put together. So 
I expect that this will probably win, but we'll see. There could be some other games that I haven't seen that are at this level, but I kind of doubt it. Regeneration time. Yeah, the, the UI on the right is like, it's very cool too. It like shows you all your stats and stuff. It's just like a lot of extra polish in the game. Like you don't necessarily need any of that stuff on the right, but it just adds like, some visually interesting stuff. Take bullets or more regeneration? Or damage? I think we take bullets. Although the bullets, I don't know, every every damage increase I think makes these guys more dangerous. to shoot when I'm like directly below these guys, right? There's no reason to like... try to try to lead my shots or anything because there's no... they don't move very much and my bullets don't like drift, so... This is like about where I got before. Let's take another bullet. <laughs> horizontal to me. All right. <laughs> Almost got there, but not quite. It's hard to beat the developer at their own game. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, this is really, this is really impressive. Very cool game. Yeah, this has been this has been Flyer by 
Cozy Fractal. And uh, yeah, I think I'm going to wrap up the video now. I got through about half the games. Yeah, there's 19 exclu ex excluding mine, and uh, I played 9, so yeah, about half. Um, but yeah, this has been Pi Game Community Easter Jam. Um, yeah, and this has been Gast. Bye-bye. <laughs>